All right, so here's the deal. It's the holiday season. I'm Puerto Rican, and that can only mean one thing. It is time for Coquito. Now, I've never made Coquito on this channel, and that's because so many other people on YouTube have already done it, and Vino doesn't tend to do what everybody else does. And that's probably why the algorithm hates me. <laughs> but that said, today I am gonna be making a riff on the Coquito called Coquito Ho Ho, and it was created by a Shannon Ponche over at Leyenda in Brooklyn, New York. Now, I'm gonna be honest. The Puerto Rican old man in me, you know, screaming at the clouds, he's having a hard time calling this thing a Coquito riff. Now, no disrespect to the creator, Shannon. This thing looks and sounds absolutely fantastic, and I cannot wait to try it. But when after looking over the ingredient list, I was like, hmm, it does beg the question. When is a riff no longer a riff and just a whole nother cocktail. Now look, I'm no gatekeeper. Matter of fact, I have a disdain for gatekeeping. I think it really takes the fun out of this delicious hobby of ours. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. As long as this cocktail is delicious, then I'm good. So make sure you stick around, cause we're gonna boogie down. All right, so let's look at what is in the sauce for our cocktail. The first thing you're gonna need is a half an ounce of Coco Lopez. Now, if you can't find Coco Lopez, cause God knows it could be a pain in the ass, just use a half an ounce of whatever cream of coconut you have. Don't worry about it, okay? Now, I do recommend that you use it first because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get out of the, uh, the uh, thing here, the jiggers. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's cold right now too, so it's a little bit clumpy, but with the shake, it should hopefully break up real good like it, right? So now the next thing you're gonna need is one ounce of a coconut milk, all right, which I've got pre-poured here. Here we go, beautiful. Then the next thing you're gonna need is a quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. I've got some homemade cinnamon syrup here, all right? It's gonna give us some of our seasoning for the cocktail, all right? And then the next thing you're gonna need after that is a ounce and a half of Ripple Saddle Tequila. Now. This is where things go a little awry here <laughs> because Coquito normally uses rum, but you know what? We're gonna go with Miss Ponche's uh, recipe here and just enjoy the drink as it is, all right? So an ounce and a half of a Reposado tequila and I'm gonna be using Espolón, all right? And as we move further off the reservation with Coquito here, we're gonna use uh, an ounce of Oloroso sherry, okay? So what I say there, an ounce of Oloroso sherry now, all of these ingredients sound fantastic, but again, like I said, it's, it's really a matter of, is this still a riff or is this just a whole other cocktail? It doesn't really matter, guys. I'm, I'm just making, making conversation and the uh, Puerto Rican purist in me is, is wondering what the hell's going on here. <laughs> but, but shout out to Ms. Uh, Shannon Poncha there. And the next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of a coconut liqueur. Um, I'm gonna be using a homemade coconut liqueur that I have here. All right, a half an ounce. If you'd like to see me make a video about how I made my coconut uh, rum liqueur, let me know down in the comment section, all right? We'll leave that like that. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do, it actually really excites me because I just got the bottle and I've been looking for this thing everywhere, is a quarter ounce of Brolio Amaro. Now you guys know I love Amaro. I'll put a link down in the description to my Amaro uh, playlist. And I'm looking forward to making some cocktails with this in the future, right? And this is gonna add some delicious pine notes to the cocktail, so that's really fun. All right, and now we're gonna do a whole egg. So this makes it almost like a flip. All right, or basically a flip. Whoop, there we go, we got a nice backsplash there. There's some salmonella now all over the place. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a dry shake first. All right guys, so let's go ahead and shake that nice and strong for a good, you know, 10 seconds strong, all right? All right, folks, I think I gave that a nice strong shake. I'm gonna go ahead and release the top here to get all the gas out so it doesn't explode all over the place. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And now we're gonna add some ice to the shaker and do a wet shake, all right? So let's go ahead. Right, so you already shook it up enough, you only have to do a really quick shake, all right? So you wanna sh shake that another 10, five, 10 seconds, up to you. All right, folks, I think we shook that bad boy up enough. Let's get our glass out. Now, you're gonna be serving that in a rocks glass, all right? But you're not gonna add any ice to it. You're gonna serve it, uh, you know, up into the glass, all right? So let's go ahead and pour this bad boy in. All right, look, it, it looks like Okita, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Um, look, I'm, I'm very, very excited to try this cocktail. So, you know, I, I, I wanna make it clear I'm not trying to be all snobby here, you know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. Oh, right to the top of the 
glass, which makes me very, very happy. And then we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with some fresh nutmeg. All right, there you go. Oh, that looks good. Look, so this cocktail looks absolutely fantastic. Again, big shout out to Shannon Ponche on this cocktail recipe here. And uh, there we have it, folks, our Coquito Ho Ho. All right, folks, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely ready to give this bad boy a sippy sip. Cheers. I mean, obviously, right in the nose, you're gonna get that delicious aroma of fresh nutmeg, which always makes for delightful entry into the cocktail. Look, that's a, that, look, it's, it's more eggnog than it is coquito. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. But it's a delicious tasting cocktail. I mean, I'm loving those deep, rich cherry notes, of the fig notes almost that you're getting from the sherry. Um, you get the pine notes on the very end. Um, it definitely has that rich, creamy texture that you get from a flip. So it's like, it, it feels more like a flip eggnog than it does a coquito. You do get some of those coconut notes, obviously, with the coconut milk and, and the uh, co cream of coconut, and of course the coconut liqueur, but they're not actually very substantial, like you know, like you would in a coquito. So let me give you another sip. Yeah, an enjoyable cocktail. I think, again, for me, it's more of an eggnog flip style cocktail, less of a coquito cocktail. But once again, shout out to Shannon Ponche for, you know, bringing out another coquito recipe to represent the Puerto Rican people, the Puerto Rican culture, which obviously I take great pride in, right, folks? So listen, if you like this cocktail, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, Sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.